name is Gerilyn. Today we're gonna do a fun weekend lash look. We sent out an email earlier today that had some fun lash looks to try. We're gonna try out Seeds with Extreme Ice. This is a map that Jill came up with. She always comes up with amazing lash maps and this is something that we tagged with NS FW, not safe for the workplace because she's a little extra and it's about to turn up. So say hello as you're jumping in. Lashify Bev is going to be in the comments to help get questions answered. We're streaming from Lashify.com. We're also streaming into Facebook and YouTube. So say hi if you're there. If you want to come hang out in my comments, come to Lashify.com. You'll find me in a little floating square, okay? So first, let's talk about the LED control kit. We have our V1 control kit. It's our starter kit, comes with everything you need to start using the Lashify system, but I want to show you our V2 LED control kit. It's going to be coming out in white, in the white case next week. We're going to be dropping this just for you, so it, we're super excited. Right now it comes in black, so when you open it up, you have everything that you get in your control kit, but you're going to choose four lash styles from any, any collection, any style, any color, any size. So four, you get to choose any four lashes you want to start with. You're going to get to choose the curve of your fuse up. You just hold it down and turn it back down and then you can turn it right off. It does uh, charge. So you're going to get a little charger in there. You're going to have a mirror to use and it comes inside this soft or like a, like a hard foam case. It's a beautiful soft sort of satin like finish on the outside. You're going to get your welcome letter and your um, QR code to scan right there from Sahara. You're gonna pop this out and right behind there is your charger, your set of wandums. You're gonna get your lid space finder tool, right? So you can find some other sizes to try out. You're also gonna get a new set of directions in there, a little step-by-step, -step, but we have tons of tutorials for you to check out. And then inside is your lash doors because you're gonna want more lashes of different styles, different sizes, so you can customize every single lash look. Hi, Bev. Bev's in the comments for you. Say hi. If you have any questions, let us know, okay? So we're gonna do this really cute weekend lash look. It's gonna be a stack stacked application, really simple. We're gonna be using C's and Extreme Ice. Are you ready? So I've already prepped, we always prep with pre-cleanse. You're gonna get a sample of pre-cleanse and melt away, a remover, pre-cleanse is our lash prep, in your control kit. So we always prep our lashes, make sure there's no oil, makeup, mascara, uh, skincare products, anything like that on the lashes because of our flexible bond, right? We're gonna be using a flexible bond. So today, I'm gonna do sort of a reverse usage of the bonds. You can use them however you like. This is clear whisper light on one side, comes out white, dries down clear, it has a pointy precision tip. On the other side, you have black whisper light with a micro mascara applicator. They are the same, same thing, all right? It's the same product and you can use whatever you like. You can combine them, you can stick with one or the other. Whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna layer your bond. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add Clear Whisper Light to my natural lashes. You could go in the reverse order and use Black Whisper Light on your natural lashes, but I'm just gonna come in and dot a tiny bit along the base here, just so you can see how this would work. A little bit goes a long way. No cyanoacrylate, no latex, no formaldehyde in the bond. So this is safe for sensitive eyes. And we are going to work in super light layers. We're not gonna add a ton of bond all in one go. We're gonna let that go clear and get tacky before we do anything. Sit for like 30 to 60 seconds until that bond goes clear or it feels tacky, okay? So while that's getting tacky, I'm gonna pull my base layer of gossamers. We're gonna do C10s. What did she do? She did four C10s and a C12 across. So this is a very easy, natural lash map. It's almost like the way that we're gonna build this is you're gonna see like your weekday, your week long work, work day lash map. And then we're gonna stack on top and turn it into a weekend lash map. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Let's pull one more because we're gonna stack with one of these. So C10s and then grab a C12 
C12 over here. Let's grab them. These are made of Korean PBT silk. They are a very lightweight synthetic material. So we're gonna put the lashes on underneath our natural lashes. So they're lightweight. There's not gonna be any damage, right? Coming in, I'm gonna add a little bit of bond. I'm using the black. Again, you can do this in the reverse order. You can start or just use the clear or just use the black, whatever you do thin, thin applications of Bond, and we're gonna let it sit and get tacky for about 30 to 60 seconds. So I'm just gonna work along here and apply Bond all the way on all of my lashes, okay? Not showing up on the website, but Facebook is seeing us. Okay, well that's okay, Bob. At least we have viewers on Facebook. Not to worry. Coming in, we'll just keep going to multiple, multiple platforms. So if you're in Facebook, Bev's got you in the comments. If you have questions, she'll funnel them up to me through our, our, our live streaming platform here. I won't be able to see your comments, but that's okay. Bev will help. Not to worry. So coming in, just applying a bit of bond all the way across, adding to my gossamer spines. You can add all of your layers of bond directly onto your lashes if you like. I just like working this way because sometimes I overlap. It kind of just works better for me. So you're gonna figure out exactly what works best for you, okay? All right, coming in. So now I'm gonna grab my lash, my first lash by the very tip. This is a C10. We're gonna do four C10s across and a C12. Hi, Debbie, how are you? Let's see, I see three people on on um on the website so maybe some people are seeing us i don't know i don't know technology sometimes is a mystery all right i'm gonna come in this is nice and tacky i'm gonna come in with that c10 i usually start on the inner corners you start wherever you like and we know we bonded well and waited long enough for the bond to get tacky because we're getting that velcro like stick right if we don't wait it's probably gonna slide. We're probably gonna get bond everywhere. Not a fun experience, but it's okay. Actually, I'm gonna move that just a smidge. If I wanna move anything, I can do that. Lie down eventually, but when you're working with it, you have a really nice long working time. So you don't need to rush. You can take your time. You can apply, re readjust, take things off, put things on as much as you like. If you run out of working time, say you're like indecisive about what you're gonna put down or you're moving a little bit slowly, that's all right. You're gonna, I'm going just one right next to the other because my eyes take about five gossamers across. I'm gonna do this last C12, no overlap there. And this is like a little baby wing, see that? Either reverse fuse or either reverse fuse or do a full fuse, right? And with or without the wandoms. The wandoms are a silicone cover that goes over the tips of your fuse control wand. They help reduce stickiness and maybe they give you a little bit of a wider, cushier fuse. So I like to reverse fuse. I can get all the way down on the spines, all the way down at the base of the lashes because I left a little gap at the roots of my lashes, right? We're always going to apply gossamer lash to natural lash onto the hairs. Never on your skin, your wet line. You're never gonna apply directly on your wet line or even too close to your wet line. You actually wanna see the roots of your lashes underneath here. You can measure using the tip of your fuse control wand to make sure that you have enough of a gap. So if you put this at the top of your wet line, where your lashes are growing out of your eye and it fits between the gossamer lash spine and the top of your wet line, just like that, you know you have enough of a gap. You need this to make sure that your lashes stay healthy, right? So that there's no tugging at the roots that could cause damage. If it's uncomfortable, if they're too close, it's gonna be uncomfortable. We don't want uncomfortable, pokey lashes. They want You want them to be super comfortable. You don't wanna feel them at all, okay? So if you're feeling a little pokiness or scratchiness, you just need to move them. Hi, Ariel. So we're building this lash map on this eye. We have so far a base. So it's gonna be a base layer and then we're gonna stack. So base layer is four C10s 
and a C12, and then we're gonna add more gossamers to create this look. We're gonna add some more C's and extreme ice. Really cute, right? So we're kind of doing your weekday to weekend transformation before, and this is what we're going to after. Oh yes, oh yes, you're so welcome, Ariel. So, so far, four C10s and a C12 for like a little baby, you know, workday wing, and then we're gonna turn it up. So, fusing. So we did some reverse fusing. You can also do a full fuse, right? Your fuse control one was designed to fit the curve of your eye, and you come in, give it a nice, even fuse that horizontal clamp force is going to grab everything fuse your natural alcohol to clean your wandoms your cup your silicone covers that will disinfect them you can run them through soapy warm water that will also work they're silicone so very easy to clean and reuse so so good coming in because i think I, I used this yesterday to apply some glass so you do want to make sure that you're cleaning off any product between uses all right so are you ready let's fuse let's do a good fuse on this side make sure that your if you're using alcohol make sure it evaporates just takes a little a little a little bit there and then we're going to fuse so if you prefer a full fuse with wandoms on that works too you can reverse fuse or full fuse you don't have to get you don't have to do a full fuse to get a good fuse you don't have to get do a full fuse to get a good fuse okay either way is fine so now we are going to stack and when you stack you can either apply your bond directly onto your lashes where you're going to stack or you can apply them onto the spines of the gossamer lashes completely up to you i highly recommend that you try it different ways and you will find your preferred method so c8 c10 and then we're we're gonna bump it up to our extreme ice extreme ice is so fun because of the thick and thin fibers the difference in fiber lengths here so much fun let's give you a nicer view here so we've got these two points in the center that are kind of like icicles and those are thicker fibers and then we have these shorter fibers on the outsides and even in the center that are shorter and they're finer so you're going to get this hybrid look right off the bat with this single style really fun a 14 a 16 and an 18. how easy is that 16 always use your fingers you can also loosen the cartridge if you want to get to your lashes much easier there we go, and I'm going to do the method of applying the bond onto the spines of the gossamer lashes, okay? So I like to grab just a tiny bit. Sometimes you can just come in and take the tip of the applicator and just dab, 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 set that down, and that's gonna get tacky. That's a C10, C12. The product sitting on the tip of the applicator so just got to find the product and apply it where you want it so good hi Angela how are you let us know if you have questions we are applying a fun mixed lash look mixing curl the curl style gossamers and extreme ice really pretty weekend lash look we're kind of going from weekday to weekend which you can do, right? So say, so I've applied all the way on all of my lashes. I'm gonna come in with the C10 and I'm gonna come into the inner corner. Let's see, hold on, I see a little wonky, wonky action. You know what, I'm not mad, it's okay. We're gonna cover them right up. Nobody's gonna see either. If your, if your lashes aren't perfectly aligned. Velcro like catch. I did overlap a little bit. I left some space so that I could apply the C10 a little bit this way. And I still have room. I'm not applying to the very last lash on that inner corner, but I did have a little bit of extra space there um, to apply to. Okay, coming in with the C10, I'm just applying 
and blends into the volume that we're adding with the extreme ice lashes. So pretty, so fun. You can spread them out a little bit if you want to, to kind of get them to fan out. 14, extreme ice 14, and look at that. Look at how it added volume here at the base, and then we've got these little accents that just do it. They just do it, right? All right, coming in with a 16, extreme ice. Again, applying one next to the other. I'm not overlapping. I am going spine on spine, because these are super thin. Check out the spines on these. Even though this is a volume style, they're flat. They are paper thin. So I can stack on stack on stack and they're still very comfortable. Look at that. We bonded so well. So pretty. Ooh, that one on the end always just like it does it. It does something. So I'm just adjusting that totally fine. Still looking down into a mirror when I do that. And then let's fuse if we're happy with it. Oh, uh. <laughs> that's, that's what I think about that. Wow. That outer corner lash just like she did all the work. So pretty. So what did we do? We did C10 times four and then a C12 as our base layer and then we amped it up with more C's and extreme ice. Hi Wanda, how are you? Thanks for joining. Let us know if you have questions. And then we stacked C10, no, C8, C10, extreme ice 14, 16, 18. Holy wow. And we have to fuse. I'm just, I sometimes forget that we have to fuse because I get so excited. They're already really on, but we want to secure them, right? So that they stay on. The EI18 is giving a weekend for sure, right, Bev? It is just doing it for us. Extreme Ice in 18 millimeters. So what I like about the Extreme Ice is you can actually size up. 18 millimeters is just at the point and it's shorter along the rest of the lash. So the accent, you just get these longer accents, but it's actually a shorter lash altogether, right? Do it, Brandy, yes! Extreme Ice, I think if you love like an accent lash or just like a little extra something, if you like to turn up your lash look for the weekend or if you like um, even an anime look or a hybrid extension look, EI is it. Extreme Ice is your girl. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Oh! Okay, before I start hyperventilating, you, the lash cleavage is just fire, fire. Look how pretty that is. And again, I always say this, but I love the fact that if I wanna just be bare lidded and not add any more makeup, I don't have to. I don't have to hide a band that's sitting on top because everything's underneath and nobody sees a thing under there. And if I wanna wear makeup, I'm free to use all that lid space with whatever I want. Yes, Brandy, so excited. So you can actually come here. I can pin that for you. If you, and then you can shop while you watch, which is really cool. If you look down below right here, I pinned Extreme Ice Gossamer Lashes for you. If you click, it'll take you to the page and I won't go away. Oops, did it go away? All right, you got it, Bev. Okay, Bev and I are playing uh, tag in the, <laughs> in the products there. But oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. I love this look. Shout out to Jill who created this lash look. So you can go, what we did today is we did a base layer of C's, very simple, very natural, and then, and then we stacked with extreme ice and some C's. So, I mean, how easy, how easy is it to just go from day to night, weekday to weekend, just like a few gossamer lashes, right? You can just stick a few in your, in your bag with your bond and your fuse control wand, take your control kit in your purse, and you're ready for the weekend. So good. Should we bond? You guys, I, I don't usually use bond, but sometimes um, I like night bond. So night bond sealer, this is a different bond that comes in your control kit. It's optional. I do like it. I rarely use bond, but what I like about this is when you apply it, I'll show you, still, you still wanna wait 30 today right now when you're ready to 
seal with night bond, you can come in and just tap it in along the spines of your gossamer lashes and you're creating a little layer. And then when it dries, it's going to act like a piece of tape that holds your, your lashes together and it creates um, a little barrier, right, from, from the elements. So I like it, it works great for me. Some people love it, some people prefer glass, some people like to use Night Bond with glass. So whatever you do, just wait until your bond or your, yeah, your bond is dry to apply and then you're good to go. And then just don't touch them, let it set. All right, so coming in and a little bit always goes a long way. You don't need a ton of product with anything that you use that's Lashify and you're done. And this also adds a little bit of pigment at the base too, so it does kind of tighten things up if you like a little bit of a tight line look or say you're using lighter colored gossamer lashes and you want something that looks like liner at the base, this would work just as well. Yep, it's multi-use, so let's, I wanna clean up just a little bit. So sometimes we get a little bit of bond like on our lash line, so I just take a little one of these applicators. I forget what they're called, but you can find them on Amazon and just kind of dab away little bits. Really handy to have, super easy. Or you can also grab our um, little applicator, tip applicators. These are great too. So you can use these with bond, you can use this with your sealers to apply, or you can even use this to remove. So I had a little bit of bond here on my wet line. I could just come in and pick that up. And then Lashify Christina showed me not too long ago Micro sponge applicator, thanks Beth. <laughs> She's so helpful. These things, so they look like the pointy precision tip in your um, Whisper Light Bond, but check this out. You can't, they're actually, it's actually a brush. So if you just kind of squish it, look, you have a little brush applicator that you can use. You can use this with your Night Bond sealer. You can use it with your glass if you prefer or any of your bonds if you know if you wanted to just like do a little little action like this <laughs> but these are handy these are available on our website for you to use so pretty you guys i love this look let's take one more look and then we'll be done so easy to take your lash looks from day to night make sure you're signed up for texts and emails because we send a lot of inspiration, like lash map inspiration. You never know when there's gonna be a promo or a new drop, and that's how you're gonna know. Speaking of drops, get excited because the LED control kit is coming in white next week. It is coming. If you've been waiting, look how pretty she is. Look how pretty she is. On the inside, it's so sleek. Right now she is available in black, but next week we're dropping this in white. Ah! So many things to be excited about. Shout out your weekend lash looks in Lashify Life on Facebook. That is our community. That's where our group is hanging out. You can use Night Bond on your bottom lashes with control wax too. Yeah, if you wanted to give like a little mascara look for your lower lashes, you could do that as well. Absolutely, yes. I wanna see all of your weekend lash looks. Join the Lashify Life. Facebook group, that's where we're all hanging out. We're just amping each other up, telling each other we love each other's lashes because they're always awesome. I mean, so much inspiration in there. It's so much fun. Come hang out with us. We're going live every day here on Lashify.com, on YouTube, on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Inside Lashify Life. It's a whole lot of fun. Come join that Lashify world, you guys. It's, it's game changing. Amazing. All right, this was gonna be just a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if there's any questions that you have and if there's other lash looks you wanna see.